There's been quite a bit of talk lately about toxic assets in our financial industry. And I really want to expose what's really happening, the cause of it, and hopefully kind of shed some light on how we can fix this problem and kind of compare it to what I've been going through lately, and that's itching from Poison Ivy. Yeah, it's had its way with me for, well, more than four weeks now. Yeah, you know, the first two weeks, it, you know, it really messed me up, you know. And uh, I got a little bit better here and there, and, and you know, uh, looking at the toxic assets, these, these non-performing mortgages, and for whatever reason, there's no, you know, no payments being made on these mortgages, which are assets, and uh, it's clogging credit. And uh, the problem is that, you know, there's a lot of white-collar crimes being committed. It's very clear. Yeah, we have laws, federal laws, state laws, that are being ignored um, by bankers, executives, you know, regulatory agencies, obviously, too. And as a result, we have, uh, you know, this is a uh, $700 billion bailout plan. It's, it's itching cream. Yeah. It might help me stop itching for an hour. Doesn't work. Doesn't fix the problem. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was popping pills. Trying to find a solution to this, right? This is the Federal Reserve throwing all kinds of money at what we have happening in our country. And that's obviously our federal government allowing thugs to steal money. It's all over the place. You know, um, we have the Department of the Treasury, which is allowing these things. Under the Department of the Treasury is the Office of the Thrift Supervision and Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. Office of the Thrift Supervision, of course, they are uh, regulators and they license federal savings banks like Washington Mutual and IndyMac Bank, FSB, Federal Savings Bank, anywhere they can do business, they'll do business in the country. They don't need to worry about state laws or anything. And then, of course, you have the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. They regulate and license, kind of regulate. National Associations, NA, U.S. Bank, NA, Wells Fargo Bank, NA. So they can do business anywhere in the country without state licenses or worrying about state laws. And, you know, these regulatory agencies are just ignoring all kinds of problems. Predatory lending, you keep hearing about it. It's not only subprime, it's in prime. I've worked in the banking industry. Uh, boy, it's a mess, let me tell you. It, it goes from Citibank. It goes to you know, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, Lehman Brothers, Chase, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, National City, Huntington Bank. Look, I can keep going on and on. All those far, they're corrupt. And then, of course, you got Congress, the oversight, right? I mean, this is ridiculous. Both the House of Representatives and the Senate, you know, ignore it. They're getting paid. They have sex, drugs, and money. It's been what's dictating the flow of credit in our country for the past at least five years now or so. And look at Henry Paulson, our treasurer. He came from Goldman Sachs, and, and, you know, obviously he was, and we saw, a lot of people saw the, the actual hearing in front of the Senate Banking Committee. You mean to tell me, treasurer, you saw this right when you started, but you didn't see it before when you were at Goldman Sachs for six, seven years as CEO, and obviously worked for more than 20 years. you got to be kidding me. They questioned him. And he claims he didn't see this. Seriously. We got a problem in our country. The only way it's going to be solved is if we prosecute. Look, it's got to stop, period. Uh, this just lies all over the place. No more congressmen and senators being paid. Attorney generals being paid. United States attorneys being paid. State attorneys being paid. It's wrong. Look. This poison ivy had its way with me. You gotta get to the oil, okay? This oil can come in through, you know, shoes, get on the carpet, you gotta wipe it out. It gets on the skin, it causes a rash, makes you itch. 
he's been through poison ivy before, you understand what I'm going through. You gotta clean it up. You can go backyard and of course throw ammonia all over and it'll wipe it out, but it's still on the skin and it makes you itch. You can keep pouring all kinds of money we want at the system. The system's gotta be corrected. We've got laws. Well, let's enforce those laws. Jesus Christ is still on the throne. Thank you.